welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the nine of the roses, so it looks like something really good is coming in. You're going through a period where you're very, very anxious. You've got that nine of spades over here, similar to the nine of... Uh, swords so worried about a lot of things, but it looks like things are coming to you now Whatever's coming to you might look like um, you know it, it might be a blessing in disguise So you might you know roses have thorns So there's something there are good aspects to whatever this offer is that is coming in or whatever this uh, gift is coming in uh, Because roses have thorns, but it also has got a good side. So there's there's pros and cons uh, Into whatever is being offered to you, but you're very very anxious You've got that crossroads card over here. So, you know, you are at the turning point of your life You're trying to make a decision uh, and it's something uh, of a new beginning over there with that ace of uh, clubs. Now it's probably got to do with uh, you know finances uh, and it, it's got to do with your stability as well and your security. So this is money coming in. This might be a new job offer. There might be pros and cons that are coming, you know, uh, pros and cons to that situation. There might be good aspects that you're considering or even the bad aspects and you're trying to make some kind of decision as well. Whatever this job is, it, it just certainly does bring in the money because that's the fish card over here and uh, you know, in a gnomed deck, it is about uh, finances. So in the past, you've got the medal card. So a lot of honors and rewards come have come in for you. So a lot of recognition for what you've been doing. You've gone through a period of uh, you know some kind of bad luck being uh, happening to you. You've got that broken mirror over there. So something went wrong. There was some kind of crisis that you went through. It made you feel you know it might have had some impact on your finances as well because you've got that eight of diamonds over here. So there might be some financial loss that you have incurred uh, recently. Now, going into the future, you've got that uh, clove card, which is about luck, sudden changes in luck coming in for you. And, you know, it might appear to be a small change of luck, but it's going to have an impact as well and change things around. You might be dealing, you know, with a situation where there's a lot of competition uh, going on because you've got that five of clubs over here. But it looks like, you know, things will change for the better for you. So this is about being an authority, taking control of that situation. So you might be, uh, you know, going. You might be getting a promotion or going to a situation where there's a, a leadership role for you, uh, and you know you're going to be in charge of that particular situation. So you might be starting something brand new, or you might be going, getting that promotion, moving on from that situation. Even the company, maybe that you're going to be working with, is a very established company. You know, it's it's a um, it's a big company as well, and it looks like there's some kind of leadership role coming in for you so you are at a turning point maybe this new job that is being uh, given to you the job on offer uh, is going to be something in leadership where you are in charge of that uh, situation it looks like your luck is turning as well so those are the energies of that week um, so I'm going to be drawing some cards from the um, Tarot of Fate Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, it looks like you want to walk away from a situation that is not serving you anymore. You've got the Eight of Cauldrons over here. So turn your back on something that was very established. Maybe some kind of situation that you were in uh, where you felt very, very, very much at home. Uh, but now it looks like, you know, it's not serving you. It's not working out for you. And you are making a decision to move on from that particular situation. You might have been dealing with a very, very, uh, you know, an energy of a person that's very much a bully. You've got the emperor card below it. Uh, so somebody has been uh, very restrictive and very, very much a bully. It could have been um, a Scorpio or an Aries because this is the Mars card, uh, the emperor card. Somebody who is um, very set in their ways and very, very much a bully. And it seems like you're walking away from that particular situation. Now, um, what's happening with you? You're very, very anxious, you know, expecting the worst to happen over here. You've had some kind of shocking news or uh, shock coming in, shocking surprise coming in for you. And this has upset you or made you very, very unhappy. You've got the Queen of um, 
well, this is the high priestess, rather, <laughs> saying the queen. So there are a lot of secrets that you're also dealing with. You can see her hand, her fingers on her lips over here. So people are not talking. Uh, there's a lot of confusion going on around, and things have been hidden from you. So uh, a lot of things have not come to light, and you're dealing with that kind of uh, um, uh, energies as well. You're also keeping a lot to yourself, trying to rely on your intuition or your gut instincts um, to move on. Now, it looks like that with that six of swords of there moving away from something that is not serving you. Uh, and, you know, a need to do your research and find out exactly what's going on. Uh, you could have been um, involved in some kind of legal ending to a case over here because you've got that six of swords. So something that you have, you have ended. And you've got that queen of swords as well. So there could have been some kind of separation, divorce uh, going on over here. There's a legal ending that has happened. And you are now on your own, and you can see this woman's playing her own drum. So you are fending for yourself, speaking your truth. Um, you know, you could even be waiting for some kind of judgment or some kind of legal issue to be resolved at this particular moment. You're, but you're standing up for yourself. Uh, you know, you're letting people know, um, you know, where you're coming from. And you know, you have. You, it seems like you've had cut ties with the, that past and some kind of legal uh, ending as well. Uh, to that particular case and you are moving on now what's on your mind you've got that five of spears over here so there's been a, a lot of power struggle in whatever that situation is that has been going on and that's still playing on your mind so you are still going through some issues with this particular person and there's a lot of conflict going on over there there could be also a lot of competition going on over there so going into the future you've got the temperance card over here so this is a need for you to get that control back in that particular situation. Uh, if you're overindulging as far as, uh, you know, uh, doing something excessively, you need to stop that and get yourself back on track again. Uh, things seem to be a bit out of control for you right now, so a need for you to get on top of things over there with that temperance card. <coughs> Uh, so what happened to you, you've got that uh, tower over there, so what happened to you was very upsetting. Uh, it may have caused some kind of, um, this This is the stroke fairy, they call him, so he causes disabilities in people. So whatever it is that had happened, could have been in the home front, you've got that castle in the back over there. It was very shocking news, it caused a lot of upset over there, uh, and maybe, you know, uh, you moved you've had to move away from that situation because it was uh, so nasty. So there was a, some kind of big drama that seemed to have happened uh, and you know it's made you lose control of that situation because you've got the temperance card. Now this could have happened in your work life, maybe you've lost your job, or this could have been on the home front as well. So maybe you've had a relationship that doesn't seem to be working out. Whoever you were dealing with was pretty controlling and this is why you've had to leave. So some information, something that came to light um, that was very devastating as well with that um, tower card and now uh, what's coming in you've got the magician over here so it looks like a need to focus back on your work or focus back on yourself and this man is working pretty hard late into the night and it's the magician cards so are trying to manifest this is also uh, you know so you need to take control of that situation you look like you have all the tools so you are quite equipped to deal with it so if you're it's a job situation you are pretty well trained up for it and if it's a, um, a personal situation, it looks like you, know, you will have uh, the coping mechanisms uh, to be able to sort things out. Either way, you, know, you are focused on this particular um, task at hand, and it looks like it's going to be something that is successful because the magician starts off, um, you know, starts off the cycle again and brings in success and reward, provided you are focused on that particular issue. It looks like, you know, you're seeking help from people over there. You've got that uh, six of stones, so somebody coming in to give you a, help, a helping hand. Unexpected help coming in over here. And this is what you're hoping for. So going into the future, you've got that lover's card over there, three of cauldrons, and the queen of swords. So um, you've got uh, the lover's card over here, a need for you to make a choice. Some kind of decision is pending, and it's a major decision. So, you know, just very, think very carefully, make sure you're doing your research, and, uh, you know, be aware of what is going on around you. This man is fast asleep, and this fairy is not that grand. Uh, she, she's somebody that would attack him. So, you know, be aware that, you know, if you let your guard down, uh, you know, people will take advantage of you. So make sure that you are well researched up when you make this choice and also be, um, you know, alert. 
Now you've got the Three of Cauldrons over there, so this is about celebration. So whatever is coming in for you is going to be something that is quite successful. So, you know, you are going to be making new friends, but also something that you celebrate about. You've got the Queen of Cauldrons over here. So, uh, you know, basically watch out for people around you that have got ulterior motives. Uh, and, uh, you know, think very carefully before you accept any kind of offers or before you make any kind of offers, uh, because the person that you might be making the offer to might not be uh, serving your best interests. So watch out who you trust, and also watch out who you give information to. So keep, um, you know, you can see this man's hands over his mouth. Make sure that, you know, you're not letting out all your secrets, and, and consider uh, things very carefully before you speak about them, or even before you accept any kind of offer. So there is a need for you to get that balance back in the situation. There has been something that has caused a lot of devastation in your life, but you're back in manifestation mode. So make sure that you're keeping a very positive attitude. Um, there's some kind of research or some kind of secret that is being kept from you, so you might need to do some research about that as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot, and the first card is the Chariot card. So this is an important uh, achievement, self-discipline and willpower public recognition. Now this is, you know, moving away from uh, difficult situations as well. So this could be a home move. Uh, it could be, you know, you changing even jobs and moving away from a situation that's pretty toxic. You've got um, that eight of quadrants over there. So this is, it looks like there is some kind of big move that you're going to be making. You've got the life experience card over here. So this was uh, a significant life event, a powerful revel revelation that leads to change and time to spread your wings. So you've got the tower card appearing here twice. This is the life experience as well as the tower card. So it looks like something big has happened to you that has caused you to make these big decisions or need to make these big decisions. And you've got the ego card over here. So a so false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Now, this is about, this could be about a work situation. You can see this man is wearing a mask, so there might have been things that were hidden from you. You might have been in a very controlling situation as well. You're also feeling very, very negative with this ego card. This is the devil card, so, um, you know, feeling as though you're stuck in that particular situation. But it looks like the tower card has come to shift you out of it, and it looks like, you know, there's the chariot card. You're going to be making a move as well, uh, moving away from that particular situation. If you look at this, you can see the chariot card is almost flying away from that devil card so whatever situation has kept you trapped and kept you stuck in it the tower is in between so there's been some revelation or some kind of big drama that's happened that's going to allow you to move away from this energy that has been trapping you so you're trying to get control back on that situation um, and it looks like you're going to be making some kind of move it's either going to be a physical move or you're going to be you know if it's a job situation you might be actually getting a new job and moving on if it's a relationship situation it looks like you might actually even be moving on buying a new home as well maybe with that chariot card or moving Moving home completely and leaving that past behind. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.